Welcome back. In this video, we'll have a quick look at null safety in collections. So let's just declare one collection here, and I'm going to declare it as months equals, and let's just have uh, the names of the month or the months in here. January, I'm not going to do all of them. Uh, let's say February, and let's have March there as well. And then we could also have a null value in there. Now, uh, null safety is on. And even if it was off here, it would have given me an error if uh, the null safety features actually picked up something was wrong here. So um, if you look at this declaration and you click on months, you will see that it picks up this list as a type of string that is nullable, which means this list can contain both strings and null values. So I can go and declare this as something that's not supposed to be nullable and that could we could do it by saying list of type string. And now this will give me a problem because this we are basically saying that this list can only contain strings not nullable strings which means uh, this value there will give me a problem. So remember the other way of also declaring this we could have said final there or even const and then declare it on this side and say string. And by doing that, we're also saying this is not nullable, but I can then declare it as nullable like that, and it will have absolutely no problem with it. So I'm also able to add strings and null values or integers and null values if it then is declared as a nullable list. Now, if I take this away, you can see the nice thing about type inference here in Dart is that it infers the type automatically based on the values that you added here. So if I remove the null, let's just look at months, it's of type string question mark, which means it is nullable. But if I remove the null value there, it will declare this as a normal list of just strings which means I cannot have a null value in there later on. So let's go back and we keep the null value there, which means that this list is a nullable list of type string. Right, so now let's try and run a for loop quickly. And I'm going to use var month in months. So it's the for in loop. Now let's say we want to print out every single month. So I'm going to say print, print out the month, run this, and you'll see all the months printed out, including null. It's got no problem doing that. But as soon as I try to do something like getting the length there of this value, so let's say the length of January is the number of characters in the word January. Uh, if I try to do that now, it gives me a problem and says the property length can't unconditionally be accessed because the receiver can be null, which means month can be null, and we cannot call the length method on null. So month can be null, but we cannot call length on something that is null. And that's why it's giving me this warning. So one way to get over this one is to use a simple if statement. And I will say if the month is not equal to null, then print out this part. So cut it. Let's paste it there. So that takes care of it. Let's run it quickly. So it will print out 7, 8, and 5. So it's 7 characters for January, 8 for February, and 5 characters for March. But you can see it did nothing with the null because we said only if the month is not equal to null do we actually do this. All right. So this was probably the best way of using this and printing this out just to make sure that there's no null values that you're trying to do something with. Uh, let's just go back and we try something else. Let's go back to print and we're going to say month or month dot length. Now, another way to do this is to force this one to actually be, be seen as something that I as the programmer know will never have a null value, but we know it will have. So if I run this now, you will see it gives me an error at the end. So this is also why this assertion operator is not always the best thing to do. This should be your last resort. So you will first try with some if statements or something in order to make sure that you do not have a null value there. 
But if you know for sure that it's not a null value, yes, then you can use the assertion operator. But you can see now here how this assertion operator will give me a problem because when I try to get the length on that null value, it will give me this exception or this error. So another useful way to do this is to not use the exclamation mark there, but use the question mark there. And now let's see how this one runs. Now you can see it prints out 7, 8 and 5 and then it prints out null. So what happens here is to say that we will print out this month.length if month is not equal to null. But if the month is equal to null, I will just print out month. And in this case, month is null. So in some times or some cases, instead of having a lot of if statements and you want to print out maybe the null value or have it somewhere, then you can just use the question mark there. And that we call we call the conditional access operator. All right, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.